Spider-Man No Way Home wraps almost everything up, except maybe the upcoming Spider-Man trilogy already in the making. So we took the liberty to take a first look into things, and we just might finally get to see one of the long-awaited battles to happen next, a new villain on the horizon, or even an entirely new narrative of the story moving forward. Recap it seems like there is no stopping for the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, as Tom Holland would not only get a fourth movie, but another entire trilogy as confirmed by Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal even before Spider-Man No Way Home, released in December 2021. Starting as just a wish for the longtime producer, Amy said that she was not expecting such an answer right away. And even though the third Tom Holland solo movie marks the end of the trilogy, his journey is far away from over. As for his new trilogy, we will probably get a whole different look from him seeing how things are right now, with Venom and all the other Sony characters slowly but surely joining the MCU. Spider-Man No Way Home did a very good job of wrapping the trilogy in a neat bow, but it also offers a lot of possibilities and intriguing aspects of what is yet to come. We should mention that there will be spoilers up ahead. You have been warned, and with that out of the way, let's continue. Many expected for Spider-Man to join Sony Spider-Man universe, but seeing how the movie ended, with the character's identity forgotten by the world at large, even those close to him, including the likes of MJ, Ned, and Happy, shows that Tom Holland's Peter Parker is ready to embark on a completely new adventure, with only him having all the experience of what it is like to be the Spider-Man that everybody in the world knows. The magic Doctor Strange used also seems to involve the Tony Stark element, which could also mean Peter's advanced tech is lost to him as well, with Peter left down on his luck. But put everything aside, the distinction matters a lot, as he is still part of the MCU, with the movie leaving a lot of possibilities for future stories to be told, stories which could eventually tie up with the universe Sony is trying to build. The last couple of years have been a roller coaster ride for most, if not all characters that Sony possessed, and now owned by Disney and Marvel alike. Thus, as a reminder of the friendly relationship the two companies have right now, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has already announced that MCU Spider-Man 4 is already in the works, which is a good thing. And based on that, we managed to dig up some details and make some speculations as to what might be the direction of the next Spider-Man movie. And without further ado, let's dive right in. You want to play a game? Release date If we are going through the past data about the Spider-Man movies, we can see a pattern of the three movies releasing roughly two years apart, which, at first glance, suggests that the next Spider-Man movie would release sometime in 2023. Well, I hate to be the bringers of bad news, we can only dream of Spider-Man 4 releasing by the end of 2023, with the busy schedule from Marvel Studios already filled with movies and TV series for the next two years. However, this should not be taken for granted, and as a discouraging factor, solely because the movie is already being in active development, it is still unclear how far along the process is, or whether it's a one-off sequel or a start of another trilogy. You should rest easy, as it is happening for sure, and it is only a matter of when, and not if. With everything said, we reckon that the next movie will follow the two years release pattern, but seeing how the entire process has already started, our educated guests suggest that we will not have to wait for more than three to four years at the latest for the next Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. What to do? On your lead, Spider-Man. Cast To start things off, Tom Holland's future as Spider-Man in the MCU was never in doubt despite his questionable and a bit cagey behavior, which we understand as he wanted to put all of his and the fans focus on the third Spider-Man movie. However, after the third movie was released and the confirmation of yet another trilogy coming our way, he clarified that he doesn't know what the future of Spider-Man looks like, but he is definitely up for the role, so he will be part of it for sure. Pascal herself seems to be keen on keeping Tom Holland on board for more sequels moving forward, or as she explained it, as much as Tom wants the role, of course, we should also expect for both Zendaya's MJ and Jacob Batalon's Ned to return, as they are the two pieces of the core cast group. However, the ending of the third movie could also suggest otherwise. But we are not entirely sure, as it stands right now, we cannot possibly think of an MCU Spider-Man movie happening without the two. 
Happy Hogan, played by John Favreau, is also another victim of the spell just like the rest of the world and doesn't know who Spider-Man is, but he knows that he exists, so he should be back again. One actor who will not be returning is Marissa Tomei as Aunt May, who was tragically killed by the Green Goblin. The multiverse offers the possibility for an alternate Aunt May, but we feel this is a long shot. It is also unlikely that both Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire would return again to their roles, given that their brief but meaningful appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home is rectified as the plot reseals the multiverse up. However, we should not exclude them entirely, as they are now known as Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man. So who's to say that they won't be swinging by the MCU again? Another likely appearance could be Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock, aka Venom, who appears in the credit scene but is taking back to his universe. So we are still in the blue about it. William, I've got drones breaking for me. Plot. Unfortunately, there is not much to go on for the plot side of things, because firstly, Spider-Man No Way Home does not set up the fourth movie straightforward. And secondly, because we are talking about a first movie, which will be part of another trilogy for the character. The climax of the last movie wraps everything up and sets a blank slate for Spider-Man's future. As mentioned before, the movie ends with nobody knowing what Spider-Man's real identity is, including MJ and Ned. Peter Parker is still doing his Spidey business in the world, so it is not like he is retired, which eventually leads to the fourth movie being whatever the writers like, whether it's Peter training a new Spider-Man, a standalone adventure maybe, or something else entirely. A lot of doors are open. The third movie gives Spider-Man to make a momentous decision, a sacrifice on his part, which gives Amy Pascal and all of the other working on the project a lot of work to do for the future of Spider-Man. One potential option on the table is that we will finally see some of the most anticipated battles between Spider-Man and Venom on the big screen, with both Eddie Brock and Venom being transported to the MCU, as seen in the second Venom movie's post credit scene. The botched spell of Doctor Strange takes Venom and Eddie back to their universe, but a piece of Venom symbiote is left behind, a piece that could take over somebody in the MCU. This is highly unlikely. MCU setting up a Venom of their own, especially since Tom Hardy is so popular among the fans. So the face-off is going to happen for sure. We just don't know if it is going to happen in Spider-Man 4 or Venom 3, or maybe even further down the line. The latest Spider-Man movie also gives a little nod to Ned's villainous turn as Hobgoblin in the comics, so that is a potential plot thread as well. It might seem unlikely, but stranger things have happened in the MCU so it should not be ruled out completely. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the third Spider-Man movie? And where would you like to see Spider-Man's adventure take him next? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.